up guys today I'm gonna to be doing the second dose of the new algae um, to be honest with you I um, I've been way too busy to keep up on the glass scraping and all that this is actually two weeks of algae buildup on the glass it looks like the cameras out of focus but really it's not that's just how much algae is on the uh, glass so I'm gonna clean the glass right now we're gonna do the second dose of new algae um, and then I guess I can just tell you some things going on. I'm having some issues with my monoporas, and I think I've uh, narrowed it down. I thought uh, my issues were coming from the new algae, um, but it, it kind of didn't really make sense to me. But that was the only thing I had changed with the tank and then started having these issues with my monoporas. Um, what's going on with my monoporas is they're bleaching um, and peeling. My Spongodes is bleaching. My Mystic Sunset Monopora is peeling. And then my Digitata bleached out. Um, my Superman over in this area here of the tank is um, got some bleaching spots. And my, um, shoot, what is it? Monopora, my Satosa is starting to bleach now. But I think I may have narrowed it down to a nutritional issue of the tank. Um, you guys know me. Uh, I'm pretty notorious for having a really, really low nutrient system. And I went through this problem before on my 220 where it was the, basically it was such a low nutrition system that I actually had stripped the water of anything good. Um, so I stripped the water of all the basic elements that the corals need which is probably why I'm not having issues with the acro right now it's probably not so low nutrient right now that the acros are affected because none of my acros are affected right now it's just my monoporas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up my feeding again uh, like I did in the 220 I had to up the feeding in the 220 and um, over um, a couple months I ended up not having any issues so um, I do have my skimmer running um, with the fuge light they're on the same timer um, that's gonna be for another update though so we're gonna go ahead and get going on the new algae I'm gonna clean the glass real quick so hang on I have um, I had to put covers on top of the tank because um, just the evaporation was nuts the surface area of this tank and the evaporation was just insane so all right, guys, I'm going to speed the video up right now. All right, since I'm going to be scraping the glass um, and stirring some stuff up, I'm going to use some filter socks. I haven't been running filter socks for quite some time. Uh, like I said, guys, I've just been extremely busy, and I've had no time for this tank.
All right, so we got the tank cleaned up somewhat. Um, next, I'll be turning up the WP40s on like high. Um, that way, it'll stir up the crap, and I can catch all that in the filter socks. But right now, let's do the new algae dose. And again, I'm going to be dosing 7 mil for this tank. Uh, let me turn off the protein skimmer. Unfortunately, all I have is a one mil syringe that I can find right this second. I didn't quite prepare for this video. So that looks mixed up enough. We'll do seven of these. One. So there's the second dose of the new algae. We'll see what happens. Um, see if I don't have something better happening here. I stopped running the skimmer all day and all night. Uh, went back to a reverse cycle with my skimmer like I did on the 220. So that only runs when the lights aren't on on the tank. Right now the lights should not be on on the tank. I have them running at night again. Um, they run from 6 to 2 in the morning. Um, just because here in Arizona, those are the hours that um, are cheapest for our electricity. So, and then the Fuge Light runs opposite of that with the protein skimmer running at night. So, um, yeah, there we go, guys. That's the second dose of the new algae. You see it here. I just cleaned the glass, so we'll see what the algae buildup looks like uh, next week for the next dose. All right, peace.